Hey everybody, Dave here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So Terry turned out pretty cool last week, so I thought this week maybe we need to make a Jerry. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so I want to give you my thought process of making Jerry after I made a Terry. <laughs> so you can check out my other video on Terry from Seoul. But when I made Terry, I used this green floral wire. And there are some pretty tight bends. And I noticed there's like this, I don't know if you can see it in the, in the video, but there's this green coating on top of this wire. And when I bent it, it kind of creased and you could almost see the, maybe the coating cracked or something. So then I thought, well, I have this hanging wire and it's a lot thinner and it'd actually be really easy to, um, to bend and manipulate. And, you know, I can get some really nice tight corners. But then I thought, man, if anybody even bumps it, it's, it's bent and it just, it's like way too soft. And so I don't think it will hold up that great. So what I did was, I could probably go buy some thicker gauge wire without this on it, but I am pretty cheap. And so what I did was I just took uh, an X-Acto blade and I literally just scraped on the uh, wire, just scraping off that coating. And then I took some sandpaper, um, 100 grit, sanded it down, and then I took some 1200 grit and just kind of polished it up a little bit. And now I have this nice clean piece of wire. So I think I'm going to work with this and hopefully that gives me a, some better bends without any cracks in the uh, coating. So let's give it a shot. Okay. So I've done a sketch of Jerry just so I can lay my wire out and it worked pretty well in the last one. I have run into a little snag though. I just quickly started looking at the wire and looking at how long this continuous piece is. And unfortunately, my little piece of flower wire is not long enough. I have this at about seven inches tall. I feel like that's a really nice size, especially compared to the Terry that I made last week. <sighs> so I don't know what to do. I was playing around. I have this polystyrene tubing. I actually was just quickly like taking a match lighting it it softens up really nice and so i was thinking maybe i could heat it up and bend it but when you heat it the whole thing kind of goes limp and i don't know when i get into some of these detail areas i feel like i heat one area the whole thing's going to kind of kind of unravel so i don't think this is going to work i think i'm going to have to go to my local craft store and see if i can find maybe a spool of armature wire or something like that, that I have a longer piece to work with. So <sighs> off to the store and I'll be back. Okay. I got some great news. I just got back from the hobby store and they had this um, 18 gauge wire, which I went and looked at the floral wire and the stuff I'm using was 18 gauge and it was $8.99, but it was half off, and it is 10 yards, so I think I should have plenty. And it's actually this really nice silver, so I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it white or not. I might be able to get away with just the silver. I also grabbed another base, so I'm going to go ahead and paint that, and this will be the base that I'll put this on. And I think at 7 inches, this is going to be pretty great. So let's get bending some wire.
Okay, that went pretty well. And strangely enough, the wire sculpture is kind of relaxing. It's kind of just, as you're bending the wire, it, I don't know, there's something pretty neat about it. So uh, I recommend if you're thinking about trying to do one, go for it. It's a lot of fun. And I did paint this one white. I was gonna leave it silver, but after looking at kind of the style guide and how they did it in the movie, I felt the white turned out a little bit nicer. So as always, it's a great day to be a toy nerd. Let's check this thing out. 